What does it mean to have Christ consciousness? Christ? Is it a religious thing? It's anything but a religious thing. It's a state of mind, a state of purity. Now, I'm not talking about piety or, or self-righteousness. I'm talking about pure thoughts. Thoughts that everything is inherently good. That there is good in everything. That there's only one power, and that's the power of God. Would you believe that the same power that was in Hitler was the same power that was in Gandhi or Mother Teresa? It was just used differently. And you too have that power within you. You can use it to kill and destroy or to build up, enlighten and inspire. In the Bible, there's a phrase in there that says, I kill, I destroy, I heal, I make whole. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, who does all those things? The Lord, the God in man. Man kills, man heals, man destroys, man can make whole. You can make someone whole with your words. Look how many times kids are brought up in a family where they are destroyed by the words of the parents. And other times how children are born and raised up in a family where they're encouraged and inspired and healed by the words of the parents. These are all powers within each of us. You have the choice, your free will. You decide how to use this power. You can use it as Hitler did, or at least as how history tells us Hitler used it. You may think that's evident, but remember history is written by the victors and it's written the way they want you to see it. And unless you experienced it firsthand, and even then you don't know the big picture, I might say. But the power is within you to do whatever you desire. You are not a victim of the government, of your family, of your boss, of your school, of your college. You have a choice to make to use that power within you, that little voice that keeps telling you what you need to do, but you don't listen because you are afraid. Fear. If there is a devil, it should be classed as doubt and fear because it destroys more dreams than anything else. Everything that you see in your world today was created in the mind of man, brought into fruition. It was a reality before you ever seen it in the material world. That's why it says what is seen is transitory. What is unseen is eternal. The, the device you're watching me on now was created within the mind of man using that God power. It will pass away. Eventually it will fall apart, won't work anymore. But the idea that was created in the mind of man will live in eternity. That idea will not pass away. That is the eternal. The idea, the consciousness of the device you're watching me on. That's where it was created. Everything was created in the mind of man. You have that creative power within you. You couple that creative power, whatever your desire is, with action in the direction of that vision which God has given you. We all have one. We may push it down. We may deny it. We may logically justify why we're not doing it. Or we may procrastinate, which is really based in fear. So we don't have to actually take that risk. Without risk, there is no reward. We sacrifice our freedoms for safety, for security. There is no security except that security that lies within you. There's no security in money, 
in lands, in governments, whatever it happens to be. Social Security, it's an illusion. And it too was created in the mind of man, in a group consciousness, some things are. Your security must come from within. Everything is from within. Your outer world is a manifestation of what's going on in here. If you're having a problem out there, the problem began within you. Now that doesn't set right with too many people because they don't want to take responsibility. What are you doing at night? Are you watching sitcoms all evening with controversy, deceit, dishonesty, um, immoral things, whatever moral means to you, and then expecting to have good things happen to you all day? What is the dominant thinking of your mind? Do you keep up with politics? And in the latest uh, attempt on someone's life, the intrigue, the controversy, the dissension. These things are impurities in your mind which will cause you to bring things into your life that you don't like. Your thoughts are very powerful, but most times people don't relate what they're thinking to what is happening in what we call the manifest world. Whatever is true, whatever is honest, whatever is lovely, whatever is pure, whatever is worthy of praise, think about these things. Okay, you must watch and guard your thought life. Put a guard on your mouth and a seal on your lips that you may not sin against that power that lives within you, that God power. Sin, to fall short, to not hit the mark. Sin comes from an archery term, which means to sin is to miss the mark. Now we're all going to miss the mark. Thank God for that, because I've learned more from my mistakes or my sins, if you like, than I ever did from my successes. That doesn't mean you're a bad person. Although as we grow up in school, we're taught to fail or to miss the mark is bad. How many of us wanted to bring home a report card? That's the way we did it when I was a kid. And we had to have our parents' signature to sign it when we had Fs on there or one F or not a good grade. We were ashamed, we were embarrassed. Some, some of us were even told we should be ashamed that we were made to feel bad because we failed. I have failed so many times in my life, but my failures have brought me to where I am today and has brought me many, many successes in my life. I live a wonderful life today because of my failures. Failures are just the pathway to success. If you're not failing, you're not trying. So live the life you came here to live. Don't try to find security. Step out there and take a risk. And if you're making excuses why you can't, they're just excuses based in fear. I challenge you today to do something that's been on your mind, that's been bubbling up, that you've been pushing down. Do something today in the direction of that voice that tells you what your true purpose is here on earth. We all have one, we all have one, but it's up to you to bring that to fruition. Think about that today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Take care.